What's up guys, welcome to part 2 of the MetaHuman Animator series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to capture a performance on your iPhone and turn it into something like this. Now I want to say one thing to the American people, and I want you to listen to me. I'm going to say this again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky, and I never told anybody to lie, not one time, never. The allegations are false, and I need to go back to work for the American people. Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video we're going to use the skeletal mesh that we created in the last video to create a metahuman in metahuman creator. Then we're going to record a performance on our iPhone and finally we're going to use that performance to animate our metahuman. This video is essentially a part two so if you haven't seen the first one already I do recommend you do that and I'll link that right here. It's nothing to be scared about, it's only a little bit of work and then you'll be all caught up. So with that let's jump right into it. The first thing we have to do is open up our metahuman identity where we selected and promoted our poses in the last video. I want to mention really quick that we can also choose to add a teeth pose. This step is technically optional, but it's highly recommended. Adding a teeth pose will register the teeth inside the skull and it'll improve the quality of the solved identity a ton. If you don't do this, the teeth and the bite might look a little off like when your mom takes out her dentures, but it'll be fine if you choose not to. All you have to do to add your teeth pose is click plus add at the top left corner and under add pose, select add teeth. We want to make sure we can see as much of the teeth as possible and the whole incisors in the frame that we choose. It's possible that only two incisors will be visible, so in the drop down menu under teeth to the right, deactivate the two that you can't see with the little eyeball icon as well as the little vial icon. This will most likely be the lower teeth. Now whether or not you chose to add a teeth pose, we need to press prepare for performance to get everything ready to be animated with the performance we're going to capture. This will eat up a lot of your computer's resources and may take some time, but you only have to run it once for each performer. Unless you have 64 gigabytes of RAM, this will not run at full speed on your system, but just click through the prompt and continue, because it'll be fine either way. Once this is done, we also need to push the Mesh to MetaHuman button at the top, like we did in the last video, only this time we're going to select Auto Rig Identity, Skeletal Mesh plus Full MetaHuman. This will connect our MetaHuman identity to the back end and allow us to create a whole character that looks like us in the MetaHuman Creator. So now I'm briefly going to show you how to turn the skeletal mesh we created into a metahuman. I would suggest saving everything and closing Unreal Engine at this point, otherwise things might get bogged down. Open up a browser and google metahuman creator or go to metahuman.unrealengine.com. Log in if you haven't already and follow whatever prompts it gives you. Once you get to this screen, be sure to select Unreal Engine 5.2 in the version drop down box. Then press launch metahuman creator and let it load. This might take some time. Once you're in, click on my metahumans at the top and then choose the metahuman you made and click on edit selected. A reminder, if you don't see the metahuman you created in Unreal Engine, you might need to go back to your metahuman identity you created and push mesh to metahuman, auto rig identity, skeletal mesh plus full metahuman. This will bring you to a sort of character creation screen. I'm sure you played a million video games that have these, so I trust that you can figure this out. Maybe I'll make a video later on that does a deep dive into the options here, but for now, I would just throw on some skin, change the hair and the eyebrows, maybe adjust the eye color and complexion. You can do as much or as little as you want here. There's some really cool, funny, and even disturbing options here, so have fun with it. Once you're satisfied, make sure it's saved. It should auto-save as you go, so when you're ready, just click log out at the top. Before opening Unreal Engine back up, we need to update Quixel Bridge through the Epic Games Launcher, otherwise our MetaHuman won't show up. So open the launcher, go to Library, and click on Installed Plugins under version 5.2, then just click Update next to Quixel Bridge. Now open Unreal Engine back up so we can begin to import our MetaHuman back into the engine. Once we're back in our project, let's create a new level so we can see what's going on. So go to File, New Level, choose basic and press create. Now we need to open Quixel Bridge so click on the little add button and choose Quixel Bridge. Click on MetaHumans then My MetaHumans and you should see the character we created here so select it. Choose your quality, I picked highest, then press download and add to add it to your project. 
This might take a while, so just let it do its thing, and when you're done, it might prompt you to activate some plugins if you didn't already do that. If so, it'll prompt you to restart, so go ahead and do that. Now we have everything we need to create a performance with LiveLink on our iPhone. I'm just going to brush over this because we already learned how to install and use LiveLink in the last video, and creating a performance is just like what we did before except you're moving and talking. Just make sure you're well lit and your iPhone is as still as possible because your shaky anxiety hands will translate to the final performance. Once you've got a performance you're happy with, transfer it to the computer using the capture source asset we set up in the previous video as well as the capture manager, which you can find under tools at the top. Now queue up the footage by selecting add to queue and click on import all like we did before. Do note that if you were persistent enough to get your iPhone to connect to Unreal Engine in real time, there are theoretically easier ways to do this using the take recorder, but we aren't going to cover those here. Now we're going to create a MetaHuman Performance asset. MetaHuman Performance basically takes frames that have been calibrated to our face and the MetaHuman identity and creates keyframes, kind of like in Premiere Pro, to create the animation. So go to the content drawer, right click, and under MetaHuman Animator, create a new MetaHuman Performance asset. Open it, and under Footage Capture Data, select the performance you imported from your iPhone. Then select the MetaHuman Identity we made in the drop-down box for MetaHuman Identity. This is super easy because we already did all the hard parts. We just have to scroll down to Start Frame to Process and End Frame to Process, and scrub through the footage to the section we want to use, then enter the corresponding frames into the boxes. If you want neck movement in your shot, make sure the section you choose includes at least one good frontal frame that includes the neck area. It'll find that automatically. Then click Process up at the top. This might take a while and it'll give you a preview while it does its thing. Once it's done, press play at the bottom. If you like what you see, this is pretty much all we have to do in the MetaHuman Performance asset and we can start to move everything back to the Unreal Engine editor. There are two options here to do that, depending on what you want to do. One is to go up to the top and click on Export Level Sequence, select a location, and press Save. In the Export Level Sequence Settings menu that pops up, Go to Export Range and click on the drop-down menu, then select Processing Range instead of Whole Sequence, then press Save. Open the saved MetaHuman Performance Level Sequence and press Play at the bottom left to see the animation inside your level. The other option is to click on Export Animation instead of Export Level Sequence. This is what I would suggest if you do want to animate your MetaHuman the way I showed you in the beginning of this video. Click Save, select a directory, and then the Export Animation Sequence settings will pop up. Under Target Skeleton or Skeletal Mesh, select our MetaHuman Face Mesh that was generated when we imported our MetaHuman and press Create. This is going to assign this performance to our MetaHuman Skeleton. Now let's navigate to our MetaHuman in the Content Browser. It will be in its own folder and its name will start with BP. Just click and drag it into the level. Now we need to create a new level sequence to apply the animation, so click on the little movie looking icon at the top and choose add level sequence, then name it whatever you want and press save. This will bring up the sequencer which is what we'll be using to add our animations. As I mentioned before, you can think of it as similar to how Premiere Pro works. You create keyframes in the sequencer at different points and then the animations work between those keyframes. We're almost at the finish line so stay with me. Select your metahuman and with it highlighted, Click the plus track button in the sequencer, and under Actor to Sequencer, select the file that corresponds to your character. Click plus track next to Face, and in the context menu, under Animation, select the animation sequence we created from our MetaHuman performance earlier. You can also add an animation to Body the same way, and there are plenty of stock animations to get you going. Now we need to delete the face's control rig that was automatically created when we added our MetaHuman to the sequencer, otherwise our facial animations will not work. So just highlight face control board control rig and press the delete key. Now when we press play, our face should begin playing our animation, although our neck will be disconnected if our performance included neck movement. If you made it this far, good job, you now know how to animate a character's face like a pro. Right click on face and body and select bake to control rig and then create for each. We're pretty much done, but if you want to add the audio back in, the iPhone performance we imported should have created a separate WAV file with our audio. We can find this in the iPhone ingested folder and click and drag it back in if you want, and then drag it around to synchronize it with the animation. And that's it. 
Thanks for watching the video guys. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also our website is live so go to www.unrealapprentice.com if you're looking for other ways to support the channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.